Can I ask you something? You ever been to Vegas? Hey, how about uh, you buying me and my friends uh, a last round? Kind of a last request. Like they do in Vegas. They do that in Vegas? Whoa, that's classy. Now that's classy. Sure. Uh, excuse me, would you give this gentleman whatever he wants? Give me uh, brandy. Make it three. And uh, make them doubles. Hello, my name is Thomas. Welcome to a room review. I've been... The last couple of days I've been playing with... Invisible Ben. That's the name of the fragrance. It's by a company called 4160 Tuesday. I'm based in London. This here is a... It's a citrus woody fragrance, this is. I'll read the, the, the notes in for you. This was launched in 2014 by Sarah McCartney. The top notes are orange, lime, cognac. Middle notes, sandalwood, cashmere wood, and coffee. And the base notes are oponanax and resins. This is quite an... Uh, Quite an unusual scent. Very, very heavy on the orange at first when you first put it on. Orange, but it's it's got this really strong, different kind of twist to the orange. So it is strong orange and lime off the top end. But and that stays for quite a while on your skin the orange in the lime so it's quite I haven't really smelled anything like this nothing like it at all it's a very very unusual unusual scent nothing like a designer fragrance or anything like that anything, anything else which goes along this you know the orange and lime and sort of things the closest I might think of this being would be the Chanel the Blanc Allure Blanc which is probably it's see there's not, not even on Fragrantica there's no it's nobody saying what they think it smells like or anything like that so in my in my opinion anyway that's that's about the closest I could say Yeah, it says that it's, there's also a cognac so that's I think that's the cognac in the top end I think that's where the mixed in with the lime and the orange you get this slight alcoholic it's very very subtle but it's it's actually really nice it's if you want to sm smell something which is yeah so if you if you take like the Allure the Chanel the Blanc the Blanc Edition, shall I say, Blanc Edition. That's more citrusy. Well, obviously this has got citrus limes and oranges as well in it, like, so they're, they're both along the same the same line, but this has a little bit more, whereas the Chanel Blanc Edition tends to, for me anyway, on my skin, it doesn't do anything. It just is sprayed on and it just stays there like that. It doesn't. It doesn't mature into anything other than just a citrus fragrance. It is nice. It's a very nice fragrance. But this has this has a bit more character to it. I would say. Uh, what's the kind of price on this? Oh, I can't see. There's no prices on here. I'll put the price on the screen. I'll have a look after this. So yeah, it's it's just it's just different. It's just different. It's when when it was dried down on my skin as well. It's it it, it still kept that. It still keeps the orange, but with a but with more of a depth to it. So it's got this certain. 
think I think it's really good. I, I do really like this. Uh, it's something I might look look into getting if I can get a partial or a decant or something along those lines. It'll be something which I can. I think yeah, well, it's something a little bit different. On the base, it's got the a pot a pot. I can't even say it. I'll just say resins instead. Uh, and then there's the middle sandalwood and cashmere wood and coffee. I don't get that as much. It's just it's very very. It's got this orange smell. Orange with just a slight bit of wood in it. It's got this. A slight depth to it. It's almost like orange with. Which has been covered in like some kind of resin, resinous wood. I think it's great. I think it's really nice. It's, uh, it's something which has grown on us as well. When I've, I've worn it a couple of times, I've not, I haven't got much left now. This is only a little two mil. But it's. It's something which has grown on us over the over the couple of wearings I've had, and now I'm and when I've been getting whiffs of it, it's it's very very pleasant and it's it's different. It's not just a designer fragrance where you you know what you you know you know what you're in for. It's been made with a little bit of just a little bit of difference in it, a bit of a bit of quirk I would say, a bit quirky. So the perfumer behind it's called Sarah McCartney I've already mentioned that uh, I'll just say it again I mean it hasn't got a very good rating on on Fragrant it's 37 volts and it's got 3.38 3 out of 5 so not very good really and I found that the it, on my skin it lasted quite well I don't know I was getting whiffs of it and stuff out so I don't think the performance is it's not brilliant but it was okay for, for what it, for what it for what it is but it's okay so yeah so that's me little review of choose uh, invisible Ben <laughs> I didn't explain where they got that name from 4160 Tuesday that's the company the London based company so yeah I'll, I'll probably be getting a couple more samples from them because I've been quite impressed with this okay thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye